I had to run down the steps to get here. Oh, what's going on, everyone? How's everyone doing? <laughs> so Twitter's, what is the Twitter's first changing their tune about now? What could be going on? Did something happen in Giants land today that I missed? Could there be an issue? Could there be a problem? I put the brand. I've got to get my logo back up on there. It was a disaster of, I'm going to say, epic proportions. And I think epic proportions is being nice. I think the the ability, <laughs> rant, rant, rant. I think the Giants have reached a smell and stench that we have not seen in a long time. And that is the stench of even losing. We're going to change the background because it's date. It's nighttime here. And I'm on the field again. How has this team just dropped into, into nothingness? There's an abyss. We have an abyss. And then there's the Giants, and they're going into the abyss. And we are in the abyss now. We truly are. And I love people when they sit there and tell me, well, we're only one in five. We're one in five and 0 oh and two in the division. Dallas won on that last second, the CD, oh, not last second, but on the big touchdown pass to CD Lamb. Yes, Washington did lose, but it's the 70s all over again. Hey, what, what is this? 75% of people on Bad Dog Streams are now tuning, turning on DJ. The apologists are still out there. There's always going to be the apologists out there. I ran into so many idiots today in my video that are like, you don't know what you're talking about. He's, he's wonderful. He, he just, he just, he got a boo-boo to his head. That's why he's not playing well. Okay. Well, you know what? He cleared concussion protocol. You told me he gave the giants the best chance to win. So all of a sudden now he didn't, he shouldn't have been playing. When I heard so many people sit there and go to me, Oh, look, you were wrong. He played. Okay. And he put up a stinker. And the venerable Joe Judge, the game is lost. The game is over. There is nothing to play for. You don't even have pride to play for. And you leave your quarterback in there who's got a head injury. What the hell are you thinking? This, 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 this is all about woo woo. Uh, I mean, what the hell are you thinking? You have a quarterback that's got a head injury. Well, we're going to leave him in. It's all good. We're, 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 only, we're only getting beat by 30-something. It'll be all right. Did everything that met life just go stupid while I, while I haven't been around? <laughs> I stopped going to the games and everyone went stupid on me? I mean, it, it, it's, 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 it, it's mistake after mistake after mistake. And you, you want to put the total onus on on <laughs> I'm trying to read some of the comments. You want to put the total onus on Joe Judge. I mean, excuse me, on um Daniel Jones, but you can't. This was a this was an organizational meltdown of epic proportions. I idiotically thought we were going to lose the game 35-31 and it, you know and to be honest, it's one of those things that you were like, well, you know what? I, I thought we were going I thought we were going to lose it at the end. And we lost it more than that. The way where's number three? Here we gotta have. Oh. Wait, wait, where, where, where did it go? Hold on, wait a minute. No, three. Hold on, hold on. How dare you question Joe Judge? I'm questioning Joe Judge. I'm questioning Wellington Mara. I'm Wellington Mara. Well, I'm, I, you know what? I'm going to the cemetery and I'm going to question Wellington Mara because maybe he's got a better understanding on how to run this team over John Mara. It doesn't make sense to me that we have fallen so far from grace for so long. Well, Big Daddy Kane, I love Big KR. So Big Daddy Kane, that, that he, I loved Big Daddy Kane back in the day. I loved him back in the day. But we've fallen from grace so hard and so it, 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 it was it was over. I, I was watching the first quarter, and you watch the Giants, and you're like, okay, well, maybe something's going on here. And the people are going to say, well, Kadarius, Tony is out. We lost Tony. He was having such a, he was such an integral part to the defense. I'm assuming the offense. Yeah, but he doesn't play defense. Patrick Graham, the, the innovator of the, the defense for the Giants last year, throws up a stinker, another stinker. He, had, he evidently has more talent this year than he had previously. And all of a sudden, he can't figure out. I mean, he's ouch coached again by McVay. 
not by just McVay, but by everyone else. He's been outcoached, outcoached, outclassed. And I don't want to hear crap about Leonard Williams in a sack and a half. I don't want to hear if you want, if you want to tell me some crap about Leonard Williams in a sack and a half, please go away. Because the sack and a half meant nothing. It both were coverage sacks and, and Stadford actually stepped up into him on the second one. And it's one and a half. And Dexter Lawrence gets the other half a sack. What the hell is Dexter Lawrence, man? You got so many, you got guys that did in the interior line making seven, eight, nine tackles. But they're making these tackles downfield. It, it's a freaking nightmare of epic proportions. You're right, Todd Taylor. Two coverage sacks. And that's when we had the ability to cover people. And I said this. I said this during the stream. Off tackle right. Off tackle right. Take a shot down the middle of the field. And that's what they did. Uh, what's it in the cup? Coop, Cup, whatever his name is, on that first touchdown. It, it was so blindingly stupid. And I've said it before. My wife has said it to me before. If you know this, how come they don't know it? Because it's not difficult to figure out the game plan to beat the Giants. Keep their offense on the field. Thank you for the Super Chat, Zachary. Of course, all Super Chats go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. And I'm going to tell people now, if you want to give Super Chats, that's great because you know what? It's, it's Christmas is coming up and the kids need kids need presents, guys. Uh, Patrick Graham is a fraud. We need a sound effect. Like, do, we, do we need a fraud alert a button? This whole organization is a fraud. You could sit there and tell me, just lastly, Daniel Jones, 400 yards. He is the greatest quarterback that we've ever had in the history of the New York football Giants. Yay! Now he's a bum. Three interceptions, two fumbles later, he's a bum. And that's the fickleness of the Giant fan. And that's why I said it before. If you're not a homer, you're a hater. And, and, and you can't sit here and put this garbage product out and sit there and go, oh, it's okay. It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll get them next year. It's always next year. It's always next year. Next year is next year. Next year is year after that. And, and, and yeah, we want to have a fire sale. We want to have a fire sale. But you know what the problem with having a fire sale is? Our salary cap. 2022 salary cap. Yes, you can start dumping some contracts for assets. But the problem is that cap money is going to still be on 2022's cap. And when you have 33 contracts and $200 million in cap against a $206 million cap space, I'm going to get my math out, but I think that's an issue. Because last time I checked, you had to have 53 men on a roster. The Giants know it doesn't matter. We suck like a black hole. I think we got sucked into the black holes fans. I said this team would win six games. And I and I I changed my pronostication to seven games um, before the season started. And I said if the and I said and I've said if the Giants have a top five defense, top ten defense, top twenty offense, we could potentially make the playoffs. But I I always said it's potentially. And again, we've said it a million times. It's the team of ifs. If we did this, if they can do that, if the linebackers do this, if that, it's, but do you know what the problem is? The ifs, there's, the, the, there's just too many ifs. And now people are going to say, well, if we didn't have the injury to here, if we didn't have the injury, you know what? It wouldn't have mattered if we had Saquon Barkley. It wouldn't have mattered if we had Kadarius Tony. Everyone's after one game anointing Kadarius Tony, the, the Odell Beckham. Odell Beckham stayed on the field. Odell Beckham, his rookie season, yeah, had the hamstring issue, but he played. Look away, Devontae Smith is playing. Waddle even has two touchdowns. Get in the freaking end zone. And what the hell is Daniel Jones' problems between the 20s? He doesn't have a problem between the 20s. You get him, though, inside that 20, inside that red zone, it's like something happens. And then I love because Mark Schlereth in th- the game is trying to is trying to be like is trying to be like oh but 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 he's he just looks like he's out of sync. Oh, are we gonna try to say it's a concussion issue? Great, because I already heard this couldn't have been an excuse before, because there is no excuse. You sucked. Daniel Jones sucked. 
plain and simple. And if you want to debate me any other way, there's nothing for you to talk about. How do you record your videos so you're live with your backgrounds? What program do you use? I'm using, uh, what am I using? Yeah, StreamYard. And I, I got a lot of different backgrounds. These are these are pictures that I've actually taken at the games. Um, I like that one because it's dark. And then got another one here. I got that one. And I got the that one. And uh, let's see what else we got here. We got the other one from the other day. And I took this one inside the trophy room. So I, it, there's no reason ever to show the trophy room. Because we may never see the trophy room again. I, do you know what they should do? They should close the trophy room down until they win a freaking game. If you think that Daniel Jones and has no, you know what, Mick, right here, I see this great win. I, I see this great. Has no pocket presence. Has no pocket. It's not that he doesn't have pocket presence because he stands in the pocket very well. He has no pocket awareness. He has no idea what's going around him or even in front of him. When the rush is directly in front of you and you still don't see it, there's an issue. There's a problem with that. It's year three, and he's still making rookie mistakes. But nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to talk about that. Well, I should rephrase that. The Daniel Jones lovers don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about the injuries. They want to talk about this. They, the poor play it had nothing to do with the injuries. And then I love it because we used to say well, it's the offensive line. And before this game, the Rams had uh, given up the least amount of sacks with four, and the next team was the Giants at eight. So then it's the offensive line fall. Then I have to then I have to hear, well, they're not giving enough time in the pocket. But then you tell people, well, he held he held onto the ball the third longest last year. I mean, what the hell? Thank God for this channel and the realistic perspectives. Thank you. Uh, we've been lying to ourselves for years now, and it's now we're paying for it. Or as I like to say, the chickens have come home to roost. You think this year's bad, guys? I'm gonna tell you right. I'm gonna tell you right now. 2022 is going to be a nightmare. It is going to be a disaster. And I've said this before, you could trade all the contracts you want. You could dump everybody, but that money is still going to be on the books because why our stupidity was we kept moving money into 2022. Why? Because we were trying to make a big splash. And I said this before, we were pushing all of our chips in the middle of the table. We are, we, we are rolling it all on seven and we came up craps. And now the problem is the casino wants their money. That is a problem. That is an issue. You need some levity. Batman. Sorry. <laughs> we need to calm down a little bit. Batman had to make an appearance. All right, you know, we should bring in here. Uh, baby Saquon. Baby Saquon, how'd you enjoy the game? It sucked. See, even baby Saquon doesn't want to be a giant fan anymore. Well, I'm not going to not be a giant fan because I've lived through some bad times, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. And you know what? And I'm going to tell you this right now in all honesty. This is the worst. This is the worst I've ever seen. Even Tim called it out. Daniel Jones plays terrible. Daniel Jones will blame his injury. Of course they're going to blame his injury. I said that in the stream earlier. I said that this morning. As soon, if he played bad, it was going to be, well, he played bad because he he's, he's injured and he's just manning it up and he's just out there playing. Okay, great. You know what? If you are not the guy and you are sitting there and you're not the healthiest person on the roster to be in that position, you should not be on the field because you are not giving the team the best opportunity to the wind. And his fumbling had nothing to do, had nothing to do with a head injury. His three interceptions, he threw a ball out into the flat when the safety was sitting right there underneath coverage, playing underneath the coverage. He just didn't see him. And you had the venerable Colin Johnson, who was just a couple of weeks ago was Victor Cruz 3.9470. And where's David Sills? David Sills is such a great guy, such a great player. He can't even get on the roster when they're hurt. Casino analogy round. <laughs> yes, I like having casino analogies. Thank you, David. Terry, again, thank you for the super chat. I like having casino analogies. I also like the uh, the movie Casino. <laughs> That's one one of my favorite one of my favorite one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite mob movies outside of Goodfellas, of course. 
what do we got here, Kevin? Tim, are we ever going to sign our draft picks? Yes, we will have enough money. to. See. You have to have enough cap space. You have to make enough money for the rookie cap pool. That, you just have to. It's That's a league rule. The question is going to be, yes, David Stills is still on the, pro- the practice squad. But the problem is he's so great and awesome because I remember everyone's like, oh, my God, he's he's so wonderful. He's he's he, just look at him. You know, the way he played at West Virginia. Yeah. You know what happened to West Virginia? Nothing because he can't get on the damn field. And God forbid next week he plays and has three catches for 24 yards. You're going to have to hear the neophytes yelling from the rafters. I told you we should have played David Sills. Makes you want to smack somebody. Get a dumpster fire background. Oh, I had a dumpster fire background last week. Every time you go live and set up your background, just go to Google and type a dumpster fire in your giants and pick one. I had a dumpster fire. I did a video uh, with the dumpster fire uh, last a uh, couple weeks ago. A couple weeks ago. Uh, what do we got here? When do we get to see Mike Glennon play? I hope Glennon can. Just, I, 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 I don't want Jones to get hurt. But you know what? It's better to see Mike Glennon play than for not than for seeing this fiasco because you know what you look at daniel jones and you look at him in the eye sometimes and you just don't see it i've always said that there's an it factor there's a wow factor you look at kyler murray there's a wow factor because it's, it's some of the shit that he does you're just like wow daniel jones you look at him and say god please don't fumble please don't fumble Thank you again for the super chat. What do we got here? Until the team gets a pass rush and an O line, I don't want to hear talk about the offensive weapons, i.e., LBJ. Donald was a what's a pick last year. Yep, uh, OD learners of how we win our. Yes, and you know what? That's one hundred percent right, Mister Esquire. That you're right. This is that's one hundred percent right. We won our. You win championships still with defense. The problem is, and I've said this since before camp. I've said it. I said it before the draft. I said it before free agency. We had no edge. No defensive ends, and we have no outside linebackers. That's why I kept crying for KJ Wright and, and, and Melvin Ingram because there was no way we could lock down the off tackle run. And it was on full display in the Cleveland game, the preseason game. And I even said it, I even did a live stream after that game yelling, yelling off tackle left, off tackle left, off tackle right, busted up the gut. Dallas ran for 103 yards in the first quarter last week. And luckily we we didn't get we didn't get ground up by Williams this week, but then we got killed by Dar- I was going to say Darnold. <laughs> we got killed by uh, what's his name? Stafford. I can't even think of this guy's name. <sighs> Jeffrey will calm us down. Jeffrey will calm us down. What do you got Jeffrey? If those demands don't want to want a quarterback, then when, 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 when? Yeah, you're right. When this quarterback experiment is over, it's cooked. Start a new, at least have a quarterback prospect come in. Great point. A quarterback prospect come in. What is our backup plan behind Daniel Jones? Mike Glennon? No, I'm still saying call Cam Newton. Because you know what? For all of Cam Newton's faults, and he's got a ton of them. He also has a pedigree. He went to a Super Bowl. He's been an MVP. He can stand in the pocket and throw. And if that's all you're going, and he literally has pocket presence. I'm not a big Cam, I'm not a Cam Newton fan or supporter. Don't ever, don't ever think I am. But he's a better option than Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones experiment, it's not going to be over, but it's got to be over soon. It's got to get done soon. Oh, I'm just trying to woosa myself here, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying to woosa myself. Let's see here. Yeah, but the following week he'll get injured. He might get injured. Let's see here. Say the receivers you throw to have absolutely nothing to do with making trash interceptions. And part- You're right. It doesn't matter what your receivers are. You could have John Taylor, Jerry Rice, but if you have no awareness, you're going to get smoked. Thank you for the super chat, Frank. And of course, all super chats go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. What's uh, this is worse than 2003 and 2017? Damn, that's saying a lot. You know what's funny? 83. Parcells' first year, we were 312 and one. I remember that season vividly. 312 and one. But we had a good defense, but we had a terrible offense because we relied on Scott Bruner and Jeff Rutledge. And then we finally went to Phil Sims, and Phil Sims busted his thumb on the helmet of an eagle. And the season just went. <laughs> but the good news was. 
You saw the light. You saw the gleam. You saw the gleam. But the problem was with seeing the gleam. You knew that you knew that 84 was going to be better. And we were nine and seven. We went to the playoffs. Phil Sims threw for over 4,000 yards. First giant to do so. And what happens? We go on and win the Super Bowl two years later. This team, there's no gleam. I see garbage. Glennon is great. Danny Dumpster Fire. Danny Dumpster Fire. I don't know if I should have done I don't know if I should have done that. Kyler Murray's amazing. Nowhere near Jones. Not even the same. They were actually in the same class. Jones isn't the guy, but should have never been on the field today, especially at the end of the game when it was longer. But yes, John, he should never have been on the field today. Never. I said that. I said he should sit out for a minimum of two weeks. And I love it because you got people. You ha- you have the 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 people that are always oh when you're wrong. Well, you were wrong. I'm gonna tell you, you were wrong. I'm wrong all the time. I freely admit that. But you know what? When I make a mistake and say I'm wrong, I stand up and say I was wrong. But there was no way he should have been on the field. But I don't think that has anything to do with his performance. He didn't seem wobbly. He didn't seem out of it. He was having a bad game in Dallas before he got hurt. He was putting it again a little bit. And that's what he does, though. He teases you. He teases you with drives, with moments of flashes. And then all of a sudden, it's down to shoot again. He does something stupid. And he does stupid things. We need a Platz and Gummer. We need Platz and Gummer. How come Platz and Gummer didn't play today? Jones just proved today why we should. He's he shown, you know what? And we've said this before. He has a great game. He has a good game. Then he has a bad game. Then he has like five bad games in a row. Then he jumps back up again and has a wonderful game. It's inconsistency. That is an issue. Inconsistency. Jones needs everything to be perfect to have success. He isn't. You know what? That, that, is, that, is, that is a great point. And I've said this before. Daniel Jones has to have everything go right. The wind has to be exactly 1.25 miles an hour out of the southwest. East. The sun exactly has to be 147 degrees Celsius to one side of whatever. So the biological pressure on this. The pocket has to be clear. The wide receiver has to have a window for Jones to play. He doesn't create his own opportunities. I've said this a million times about Daniel Jones. He is a point guard who can't create his own shot. Even in losing effort, he doesn't show up. More fumbles than touchdowns. How? Because he's Daniel Jones. <laughs> that's an easy way. To, that's an easy way to put it. Also, at the end of the years, I will match all donations and donations that to them. Oh. Well, that's very nice. Uh, Eli was scrutinized early in his days, but there was a different time. You know what the thing about Eli Manning was? Eli Manning had a bad rookie season. He played better, though, in in 2005. He looked like a quarterback. He had up and down moments in 2006, but you still saw potential. You still And a lot of it was Kevin Gilbright throwing deep. Because a lot of people forget Eli was a gunslinger those first five, six years because of Kevin Gilbright. And that's how we won the Super Bowls. But he showed something. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get some more to these comments. And I got a lot of comments here that I'm getting into. We're going to make sure we get a chance to get, make sure everyone gets a comment in. He obviously shouldn't have played coming off the concussion. You know what? But you can't use that as an excuse. He played. And evidently, when he was looking okay in the first quarter, nobody was complaining. It's when the Rams mixed things up, started changing up their zone coverages, going man-to-man, playing a little press, then dropping into a two-deep zone. It confused them because he threw a guy. You know what's funny? The last three weeks, yeah, he played well at times. But there was times even the Washington game, there should have been at least, I know Saeed's going to say four, there should have been at least three interceptions. The week before that, there should have been two interceptions. He got away with stuff. Yes, you are. We, you are a week early. When there, yeah, I was a week early. Uh, there's no plan for a backup quarterback. Why not bring uh, – well, that's why we brought him back. Yeah, you're right. There's no plan. Why, it's not that why was he in the second half. The question should be why was he in the last quarter, the last eight minutes. 
This is why you cannot go with the garbage of he shouldn't have played because of the concussion. Because if the medical staff and the coaching staff thought that he was that he shouldn't have played because of the concussion, they would have taken him out of the game. Joe Judge is a joke of a coach. Where's Zachary? He's a track coach. He is a track coach. <laughs> Jones throws like a baby girl. I don't know. But let's. He actually throws a nice ball. It, there, there's there's. There's, there's nothing wrong with the way he throws, just who he throws to. Jalen Jones is worse than Hurts. Actually, in some ways, Hurts has shown some more, has shown at times some more talent level. Any new quarterback won't be doing this what number eight is doing. He just won't, regardless. Giants revamped a lot for number eight, and they went in for the, they went all in. Good point. They went all in for this quarterback. They took the chips and pushed them to the middle of the table and said, he's our guy. But you know what? Sometimes guys just aren't your guy. It's it's and it's not a slight. We've had bad quarterbacks in the past that we thought were the guy. We we had the the venerable uh, Kent Graham, Danny Cannell. They cost us. Danny Cannell, Kent Graham's potential talent cost us finding a quarterback in drafts. Made no sense. I agree. And Daniel Jones, me, will always be remembered for this. It's Daniel Jones at the five. It's Daniel Jones at the... Uh, never mind. The Newton waste of time. You'd just be paying him until he got hurt. Well, you know what? That's the same. You could say make the same argument about Daniel Jones. We're paying Daniel Jones until he gets hurt. He gets hurt all the time. What are you just scared about? I'm just scared this team will suddenly win games they shouldn't. I don't even think they're going to beat Carolina at home. I would not be shocked if the Vegas came out and made Carolina six and a half point favorite on Monday. Daniels wasn't a win- Daniel was not a winner at Duke. Why do we expect him to be a winner in New York? Well, Damian, let me tell you something. Let me let me tell you something. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop some wisdom and some knowledge on you. I got no freaking clue. <laughs> I got no clue. And then I love because people are like, well, you love Malik Willis too much. And he he's 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 a small time quarterback, just a school, just like Daniel Jones was too. He's at Liberty. Yeah, but you know what? He shows even in losses, and I know he lost on Saturday, but he shows he's head and shoulders above his talent level. At Duke, Daniel Jones never showed that. Jones is nasty in a staring. <laughs> Jones is Jones is, I don't know, man. I miss Eli. Can we get Eli back here? Can we? Anyone who'd rather have DJ than doesn't know football. There's plenty of people that don't know football. Some people say, I don't know football. I had an idiot today, uh, and I had to block him because he was an idiot. And he's he's, he's a smaller YouTuber, always tries to challenge me on shit, be, you know, say some things and be like, well, okay, now you just go for it and tell me what you think and want to say. And his point was so monumentally stupid. The only thing I could respond to him was, why don't you try getting some viewers and then come talking to me? Because you've been doing it for five years. I've been doing it, or seven years. I've been doing it for two and I have 20 times the viewers you have. So maybe there's something that I know that I'm offering or or parting some knowledge. We all know that after the Saints game, you said Jones was a franchise quarterback. Don't start just because he threw like three interceptions against a good team when no one throws. It means he's washed up. I never said he was a franchise quarterback. I said, you know what? I said after the Saints game, that's one game. And I've said it a million times. You put together two games. You put together three games. When you hit six games, I will say that you are progressing. Same with Kadarius Tony. You Great. You went from 189. Fantastic. That's great. That's one game. Timmy Smith rushed for over 200 yards in the Super Bowl and then flamed out. I had the Eagle game as a win in November 22nd, I think it was. I had it as a win. I'm not even sure about that game now. And so, yeah, we may go 1-10. in If we have an opportunity to win, it's going to either be against Carolina or it's going to be against Philadelphia. And I'm not even I'm not even 100% sure which one it is. He probably is red stripes all the girls and things. It's red stripe and mon. I always love that. I always love my red stripe analogy. 
The moment I saw Shepard was playing, I knew we were screwed. Oh, that's not good. Even set it to watch Jones throw it to the safety blanket Shepard instead of deep ball pass. I, you know what? That's that's not a bad point. But I don't think Shepard was the problem. He does use him as a security blanket, but he Jones has this issue when something. Jones has this issue. He, he, he's Shane Falco from the from the replacements, the movie. When Shane Falco talks about that stinker he played at Ohio State in the Cotton Bowl. You know, and he says, when one bad things happen, then another thing, then another, then another. And then like you're playing in quicksand. That's what he is. He's, oh my God, he's Shane Falco. He's footstep Falco from Ohio State. Hard to win a game of your quarter in, in this league when quarterback has the boom. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard to win a game when, I don't know. It, it's just hard to win a game in general. Danny Dumpster Fire is what you want, but the Giants need to figure out how to fix this offensive line and keep the skilled players on field because I'm not sure what quarterback would succeed under the circumstances. You know what? A lot of quarterbacks would have succeeded under the circumstances because a lot of quarterbacks understand and have pocket awareness and pocket presence and don't lock on their primary receivers. His second interception, he locked on the receiving to the point that Shrela, Mark Schraler said he's locking on again. Am I the only one who's laughed when I saw that they were, they were putting the Dante Pettis from the practice squad and I was proven right? I laughed. I laughed when they just drafted Daniel Jones number six overall. Daniel Jones is Jameis, uh, Jameis Winston. But you know what? Jameis Winston, with all of his faults, he always comes out slinging. He's always throwing. Even, even when he throws 44 interceptions, he always he went the, his entire last season, never threw a ball out of bounds, set a record. I respect that. And I respect the more the fact that he has such short-term memory that he doesn't even know, and he just goes back out and throws again. I respect, you have to respect that about Jameis Winston. Good, bad, right or wrong, and different, you have to respect that. I'm done with the excuse for this team, especially for DJ. I can't take it anymore. He would never. He can never do wrong. He, 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 I wish I had Daniel Jones's ability never to do anything wrong because I make mistakes all the time. But the difference is I learn from my mistakes. The so-called franchise quarterback is now nine and twenty-three and thirty-two starts. People are still lying to themselves that he's the guy. He's a loser. So I don't know if he's a loser. He might be a real nice guy. He probably is a real nice guy. Is he a loser? He's a loser in football, but he could be a winner in life. And that's all that matters. All right, I'm trying to get to these. I'm trying to get to these things, guys. I got a lot of people. I got a lot of messages, a lot of messages, lots and lots of messages. Our next one. Thank you again for, for Super Chat. Frank, all Super Chats go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. We're trying to raise money for Christmas. Get the kids some Christmas presents. Our next one will be against Miami. Yeah, that was Miami put up, but that was a good game in Miami, man. That Miami, my, with that field goal at the end, we had Dom from NFL Talking across the pond to back on with the pod, uh, on, excuse me, on the live stream today. And uh, we told Dom to keep out of the pubs because we, we didn't want him grinding up on uh, Urban Meyer. <laughs> I don't know. I think we I think we can win. You know, and, and I know people are like, well, you, you're renting, you're saying all these things, and now you're going to say we're going to win. Well, yeah, because I'm a fan. I'm allowed to say what the hell I want to say. It's my freaking channel. You don't watch it. Go someplace else. There's got to be some good movie on Sci-Fi Network. I I think we have a chance, if things fall right, to play a close game against Carolina. And then after that, we're just gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit the bottom again. Jalen Jones isn't the problem. Okay, then what is the problem? Because there seems to be a there seems to be a common, there seems to be a common factor here. And, and and it seems to be the quarterback. Go Cowboys. Yeah, Parrish, you know what? I saw the Cowboy game, man. That was a play. Dak to C.D. Lamb. I did a whole video about C.D. Lamb, but then him wanting the Giants to draft him. Did a whole video about him. I loved him coming out of college. Let's go on a chat here. I'm not blaming the offensive line. I don't blame one person. It was a team loss. But everyone has a point. People hit the like button. Yeah, you got to hit the like button. I don't remember why. <laughs> you got to hit the like button because that does things. <sighs> After 300 transactions on the low end, fans are still crying about the O-line. The O-line has the only did not play it well today. Nate Solder did not look good again today. Matt from Connecticut got beat like he stole something. 
But you know what? They haven't played as poorly as they played at times for Eli Manning. Eli Manning was not mobile and still got the ball out on time. What's up, Santana? Uh, DJ sucks. Uh, they can cost any ability that he had. Hey, DJ just sucks. <laughs> Jameis uh, Winston is one of six quarterbacks who got, yes, well, he, that, you know what? That's why I like Jameis Winston. I like Jameis Winston coming out of Florida State. I, I, I kind of, I think you, if anyone watched him in Florida State, kind of knew that he was probably going to have some issues with uh, with interceptions. The Giants did good in the first quarter. The Giants did do good in the first quarter, but too bad there's four quarters in a game. And, I, and I'm not picking on you, Mr. W- I'm not picking on you, Mr. Wilkins. I'm not because you're a Cowboy fan, evidently. Did I ever tell you a story that uh, Dominique Wilkins of the Atlanta, uh, formerly of the Atlanta Hawks, all-star forward, or excuse me, guard, he actually owes me $100. <laughs> him and his brother met him at a club in Orlando when, when Gerald Wilkins was playing for the Magic, and I, I lent him money in the VIP room, and I never got it back. <laughs> I went, and I saw him at a, he was doing a Sixers game, and I was on, I was on, the, side, I was on the court, and I actually went up to him and said, hey, you owe me $100. <laughs> and believe it or not, Believe it or not, he didn't want to pay me. The problem is the organization don't believe in DJ. If they did, they would be able to check in, check it out of the place. He also has a problem that he can't even call out of protections for the online. I think that's 100% false. I think that is 100% false. He has the ability to do it. We've seen him do it. And we've actually seen him do it well for periods of time. I think the problem is he just doesn't do it. And he learned from a superstar doing that Eli Manning used to always put his guys in the right spot not always but and we said this before Saquon Barkley succeeded or had his best success with Eli Manning behind center because Eli Manning knew how to make his adjustments knew how to put his guys in the right place knew how to call out the mic Daniel Jones just doesn't do that one in 16 can you block a b sure where's a b I told you this is why we need you're blocked (laughs) There you go. I told you, that's why we need a, uh, what, a moderator. There we go. I blocked him. It's hard to rant and read the comments. So I, we're going to get a moderator. I keep saying we're going to get a moderator. Someone sent me, some people sent me emails. I just haven't had a chance to do what they have to do to be a moderator. So if you want to be a moderator, just email me at uh, onlinebigblue at gmail. Got, gmail got, I can't even talk, guys. That's how upset I am. Uh, at uh, gmail.com, online big blue. This team is bad in a lot of areas. No bruiser style playoffs, no win firsters. You have an attitude. That was supposed to be the $23 million man and Leonard Williams. Well, AB got blocked. <laughs> he got blocked. I do things that my, I do, I, I do things because you know what? AB has been about, AB has been bothering me too. And, and I try to keep people. I try to I try to give people the benefit of the doubt, and he's left some comments and some other things recently. That it's not that I don't agree with his comments. He just comes off. He just sometimes does not. Um, I think uh, at times understand, you know, what you know how to project what he wants to say. All right, we got here. We well, Eli played thirty two seasons by the time Barkley got here. Well. 14 or 12, I don't know, but not, not that many. Okay. All on the O-line. Jones can't sit in the pocket long enough to do his thing. Yes, you're right. Okay. Yeah. It's all on the O-line. You're right. It's always on the O-line. It's everyone else, but the problem. And you know, what's funny. If everything else around you is the problem and you are never the problem, normally you are the problem. Mike Glennon. I'll play Mike Glennon. Just play Mike Glennon. What do we got here, my friend? I'm so sick of the no quarterback can survive. The Cardinals had no one before Murray was taken. Herbert had the third, 31st one line, and you can't. You know what? That's great. It's a great point. The Duck. The Duck last season was one of the most pressured quarterbacks in the league, and he had one of the highest completion percentages under duress. I think he, I forget, it was like three or four, something like that. In the entire league, uh, throwing the ball under duress with a horrible, with a horrid offensive line. But you know what? We can't blame Daniel Jones. It's not his fault. Nothing's his fault. He's the Messiah. It's he, he's the quarterback Messiah for the Giants. He's he's now Shane Falco. He is now Shane Falco. 
The average quarterback is two and a half seconds to throw the pocket. The Giants fans expect Daniel Jones to get a whole hour in the. I, I love when people talked about that as well. I, I, I love that too because we had this we had this comment as well. We had this same thing with people as well. Daniel Jones held on the ball for like three and a half seconds last year, which was the third longest in the NFL. But somehow it was the offensive line's fault. There was only two other quarterbacks, Russell Wilson. I can't remember the other one, but it was the offensive line's fault. I keep saying no pocket presence, no pocket presence. You're right. And it's, it's, it, but like I said, you know, Mick, and, I, and I'm, I'm not pointing this out. It's not that he doesn't have pocket presence because he steps up into the pocket. Well, at times he has no pocket awareness. He has no awareness of what's going on around him, around the pocket. He's got no idea. And, and that is an issue. When you cannot sense or feel the rush, there's a problem there. When you can't see and, and when the rush is coming directly in your face and you still don't feel it or sense it, Kyler Murray cracks me up. Kyler Murray, and he does this. I don't know how the hell he does it. He, th he throws in this cockeyed motion. He goes like this and just somehow throws and spins and pirouettes away from the defender. And somehow completes the pass. How you doing, Joseph? Wow, this team makes me sad. How you doing? I'm doing well, Joseph. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a little while. What's going on, my friend? Hopefully, hopefully you're doing well. It's been a stinker of a season. It is a stinker of a season. <laughs> it is a stinker. It's a stinker. Is there a quarterback in the draft that you would take? <laughs> I think everyone, you know what? I think everyone at once should type in what quarterback would Tim take in 2022? <laughs> yes, there is a quarterback. There is a quarterback. It's, and his name is Malik Willis at a Liberty. And the New York Giants with a second overall pick select Malik Willis from Liberty. I like Malik Willis a lot. And even here we go, Malik, Malik, Malik. <laughs> You, must, you might be new to the show, but Malik Willis is my guy. He's my guy. Uh, DJ is clear-cut example why we don't draft football players from Duke in the first round. I'm from North Carolina, and Duke gives away tickets. Still a Giant fan. I didn't know they gave away tickets. I, I didn't know. I didn't know Duke gave away tickets. I would never take. A, it's not that I would never take a quarterback from Duke. People would say, "Would you ever take a quarterback from Liberty?" Yeah, I'll take a quarterback from Liberty. Would you ever take a quarterback from Moorhead State? Phil Sims. Yeah, I would, but. It's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a powerhouse. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not a quarterback factory and, and it, it's not like, you know, it, it's just, you see, I didn't know that. I didn't know they were giving away tickets. That's interesting. That's interesting. I knew some schools did give away tickets, you know, cause they, they, they don't have enough people in the student body that want to go to games, but I thought, well, you know, I guess Duke, cause that's more of a bad, you know, Duke's more of a basketball town. I can see that. What do we got here? Kurt. Uh, it doesn't take long to rebuild a team or a quarterback to start to play better. Daniel Jones. It's not a guy. Joe judge is not the guy smart to start recognizing our issues and move on. You're right. You know what? And, and this is the thing. It doesn't take as long as people think to move on from our court, to move on from your quarterback and get a you know, prime example, Arizona Cardinals moved on from Josh Rosen took Kyler Murray rest is history. It's, it's not a difficult proposition. You just need the guts to do it. Malik Willis, Malik Willis. You just need the guts to do it. And I don't think the, I don't think the Giants had the guts as an organization to do it. I see a lot of Malik Willis's. Does anyone, I mean, is there another quarterback outside of Malik Willis? I, I know there's there's the big guys that everyone wants, but I'm telling you, if you watch his talent, if you watch Malik Willis, <laughs> I'm starting to think I talk about Malik Willis a little too much here. <laughs> What if the Giants tank out and tank us out for two? Oh, next option. There is no next option. We are getting Malik Willis. Can you do another Malik Willis video? Yeah, I would love to do another Malik Willis video. Actually, you know what? I will do that for you on Tuesday. I have a video I'm going to do for tomorrow, but I will do a Malik Willis video. I thought my I thought my Malik Willis video was pretty good, the first one, because uh, we we did um, – Go. Through, I mean, I went through a lot of. I also. I mean, like I said, I am. And people always yell at me, but I. I try to be fairly consistent. I, I give everyone your positive. I give the positives. I give the negatives, and then I try to let you make a decision. But the only problem is, 
it's it's one of those things that people just want to hate me to hate me, which is fine. Because I, I, like the other day, I said Daniel Jones had a. I said Daniel Jones had a great game. Anytime you throw for 400 yards, that's a great game. That's this, and I and all I said was, but I would like to see him do it consistently. And people automatically say you're a hater. <laughs> yeah, I, I want to see. There's 17 games in a season. I'd, I'd like to see him do it in more than 17 games. Two and 15. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I might have to. I might have to start being a Cowboys fan. I'm just joking. Just joking. Duke tickets are 13 bucks, by the way. Wow, that's it to go to a college game. That's crazy to go to a Division One college game. Wow. Josh Allen went, went to Miami of all places. Yeah, he did go to Wyoming of all places. And you know, I loved Josh Allen coming out of college. And I thought, like everyone else, I thought his accuracy was going to be an issue, but I think he's kind of proven everyone wrong. I always thought the athleticism was there. And if you could get him later in the draft, especially where the Bills got him, I thought that I thought we thought that was a great pick. I mean, I don't think anyone knew. I don't think anyone could sit there and say they they thought Josh Allen was going to be who Josh Allen is now. Y'all fans, you don't even want to win. I want to win. We all want to win. But the problem is you need to be honest. You need to be honest with yourself. Look in the mirror. That's what you need to do. Look in the mirror. Where's Jeffrey? I need something to Jeffrey here. Um, all the people that want to wait two more years of losing and poor Mara. You know, it's the funny thing is, I, 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 and I know people are joking, but people want Arch Manning. I was like, you got like five years to go. Guess there's another quarterback, Seymour Butts. <laughs> but um, bum bum or I also like Amanda. Uh, Amanda to hug and kiss. Yeah, that's from The Simpsons. Wish we had traded for Minshew. You know, I, I thought Minshew go to Philadelphia was, was a pretty smart move by the Eagles, by the Eagles. I would have taken the porn stash. I mean, that's the best thing. You know what? You you can play quarterback. You proved you can play quarterback. Of all places, Jacksonville, and, and you rock a porn stash. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. You, 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 are, you are made... For New York. And he looks like Uncle Rico. That's even better. Who is the second win? Well, I'm going to tell you right now. If we don't win against Carolina, Big Vito, was it Big Vito or Frank? I don't remember. Or, or Frank. I don't remember. Uh, it might be the Miami game. It could be the Miami game. Yeah, this is this is interesting. The Giants have a, the Giants, uh, Giants have a good team, but the quarterback and the coaching is you know what? I, and I do and I and I don't understand it because we have nine thousand four hundred sixty eight assistant coaches who are all failed college head coaches. Why are we so undisciplined? I like the way he uses and tries to kill his targets. You know, you know what's funny if you notice this about Daniel Jones, he he doesn't seem to have touch. He always seems to gun the ball in. And you would think after year three, you, you would have a little bit of touch. Dolphins. I'm saying Dolphins, too. I, I think it was Frank or, or Vito. I don't remember who, but I, I think Dolphins could be the game. I think it could be the game. But who knows? The Dolphins will probably put together a, one, hell of a, one hell of a run there. What do we got here for Saeed? The Bills are a horrible roster when Josh Allen came in. They didn't stop them from developing. His O line even now was average at best. Yeah, you're right. You're not wrong. You're not. You're not wrong. He he had a garbage pile of an offensive line his rookie season. He played didn't play great his rookie season. He did play better his second season. And and people are gonna say, well, he got Stephon Diggs. And but you know what? You went out and got Kenny. You went out and get Kyle. Rudolph. Can Kyle Rudolph just go away? Can he please just go away? You know what? We we should we we should we should get together like fifty dollars in super chats, and send it to Kyle Rudolph to buy him a bus ticket to go away. I said this when we signed him; he was washed up. If you watched his last two years in Minnesota, I said he was washed. You could see he was washed up. He wasn't the red zone presence that people were saying that he was. You could see it. So I think fifty bucks will do it. Send him away. And can we get rid of Nate Ebner? We can get rid of Nate Ebner for 89 cents because he is a waste of a roster space. Anyone that says anything different about Nate Ebner doesn't know football because of the fact that he's just taken up a roster space. 
you there's got to be someone with some type of young talent that could come in here and and turn something around and do something and show us something not a guy that is a joe judge guy he's a joe he's a joe judge guy i was i always love that a joe judge guy all right great that's great to joe judge judge guy but you know what parcells had his guys but they were actually good players we get Nate Ebner I pray you all, Danny Pennies and the Shields. Uh, I like you, Mr. Wilkins. Even though you're a Cowboy fan, I like you. Your team in the dumps play the Giants. <laughs> you know, that's what the Giants used to be in the 70s. You sucked. You go play the Giants. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you were Super Bowl bound. Uh, I won't even get rid of Rudolph. He's the man, yes. And that's what the Giants want. Yes, men. That's what they want. Culture. I've said this before. I want some assholes on the team. I don't want nice guys anymore. I want talented guys that are assholes. Because this this nice guy routine does doesn't 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 pay off. Thank you, Clutchball TV. I, I appreciate that. I knew somebody was watching us. Someone had to be. Both Nate and our judge, they're judge guys. They're judge guys. I love Joe Judge guys. Kenny G things makes no sense to me. Four years in the NFL, healthy for one, and he's worth 75, 72 million, I think it was. <laughs> Don't let me think that the Lions fan would raise hell of loans. They didn't care. I said this before. I got friends that are living that live in Detroit, huge Lions fans. When when Kenny Gallaty, when Kenny G left, they didn't care. They all said that he could have played with his hit pointer, that he was just playing for his contract. He wouldn't leave MetLife. He had nowhere else to go. He wouldn't me leave MetLife. <laughs> what? Because you know what? There was no other contract out there for him. And the Giants are like they always do. We're dumb enough to bid against themselves. We need thugs. We do. You know what kills me? Go back to the Giants' old linebacking days, back in '86. Yeah, you had you had Carson Taylor, Banks, and Reasons. But you also had you also had you had Pepper Johnson, you had Andy Hedden, you had Byron Hunt, you had Robbie Jones, you had guys that could lay the wood. Steve Diossi, you had guys with nasty streaks that were backing up our all pros. We had the, what they refer to as depth. Kenny was paid because Stafford threw him sixty. T- yeah, you're right. He was a sack compiler. You're right. I didn't think about that. You're right. I didn't even think about that. Uh, maybe we should have given Baker a chance. Why not? <laughs> At this point in time, it's just bad, guys. We're 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 gonna, we're gonna be. Dallas has thugs in the trench. It's just truth. You're right. You, you know what's funny thing about Dallas is, and and uh, the guy the the center actually got two penalties uh, for Dallas and took him out of field goal range. Of course, then Dak just drives him and gets gets him back in the field goal range. But he 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 got two penalties, and I laugh though because it's it reminds me of Will Hernandez because Will Hernandez should have gotten so many penalties this year for pushing people from behind. I don't even know why he still does it. I don't know why. Giants are too frail to have thugs. <laughs> you might you might be right. <laughs> well, you might not be wrong. Face uh, football is one in the trenches. Yeah, they are. You're right. Reason I said this because they just traded away Ertz. Oh, well, Ertz is going to go to a better spot in old uh, Arizona, man. Arizona now 6 and 0 is going to be scary. Hey, Zachary. Ariana Grande is hot. No, we're not having an Ariana Grande conversation. I know she's a singer. It's not my fault. I only knew her from Nickelodeon. <laughs> not my fault. I couldn't even tell you what song she sings. I know she's a singer, though, and she's on a TV show now. Because other people told me this. <laughs> I think everyone told me this. I think other people told me this the last time I was here. Uh, what coach would you want to take over for the Giants? I want, uh, you know what's funny? I wanted an established coach. I really did. I, w- I wanted McCarthy. I thought Rivera would have been a nice fit, but I wanted McCarthy. Because if you want to build a quarterback, to me, McCarthy would have been the guy. I don't want a college coach. I, I don't want a retread. 
I want a guy that is going to, and, 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 and I don't want the guy to be the third choice, sort of like Joe Judge was. I, everyone was so happy with the third choice in Joe Judge. I hated, I hated it. I did so many videos and got blasted saying, I don't think he's ready to be a head coach. So to make a long story short, Giants 34, I got no freaking clue. I would take Spagnola back to be, in, to be the interim coach again. That's what I would do. I was just about to ask you about your thoughts. I liked Mike McCarthy. I really liked Mike McCarthy. When he, when he got fired from Green Bay and he interviewed with the Giants, if you were looking for a coach that was going to groom and grow and maturate your quarterback, who was going to move forward, who could move forward with the offensive philosophy, it would have been McCarthy. Because of the fact that he did this in Green Bay. Oh my goodness. I saw how dare you question Joe Judge and hit the wrong button. Oh my God, guys. You know what? I got I, I, I'm just having a bad day. I, I'm, it's like a giant thing. I'm having a. How dare you question Joe Judge? I'm not questioning Joe Judge. I'm firing Joe Judge. Really? You think we have to fire Joe Judge? Really? I, I would not, I would not have seen that coming from you. That's very interesting. I think it's time. It's not going to happen, but it's, I think it's time. Me too. I thought Josh was a sleeper. I, I thought he was a sleeper. I didn't think he was a sleeper. I thought he was a player, but I didn't know about his accuracy. Daniel Jones is a top 15 quarterback. 15 quarterback in what? Tiddly Winks? Playing Uno? I was playing Uno today with my son. That was fun. We had a game that went on for like a half hour. I, I've never really played Uno before. I, I played it long, 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 long time ago, like once or twice, but I've never played. You no, know, that was that was that was interesting. Then he's got this Uno game where the cards shoot out of this deck. It's it's like um, you push a button and then they shoot them out. It's it's I don't know. Back in my day, Uno was just with cards. They need to clean their house. I agree. I don't want injuries to be an excuse. That's the problem, John. And I think that's going to be the issue. It's going to be injuries, injuries, the injuries. It's the injuries. This is the injuries, and it's going to be next year. It's going to be. We don't have the cap space. And the next year is going to be, it was the summer equinox. You know, it, it's always going to be something. I don't think you're going to fire Gentleman to after the season. I would fire him because you want to start getting a GM in here. Problem is you can't fire him now, especially if you want to make some trades. Because you, you can't do that to the next GM. Unless you have like a GM in the waiting that you know you're going to, you're going to dump Gentleman Because the next GM is going to want to come in and make his own moves. If Chucky goes on the apology tour, what are the odds Mars makes him an offer for it? I would say a million to one if Chucky went on. <laughs> if Chucky, if Chucky went on the apology tour, it's a million to one. People have asked me about him because I, I worked with him when he was with Tampa. I worked for him, I should say. And you know, I I, I didn't see anything that was in the emails. I mean, you know, he cursed at me a lot because <laughs> things didn't work. It was always my fault, but I, 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 I never, you know, you, you never saw that type of stuff. I mean, you know, but people are different. People are different behind closed doors. Luckily for you guys, you get what you get when you get me. I'm an, I'm an asshole all around. As a Rams fan with Spags as a previous head coach, you can't be a head coach. Just a de- I don't know. I agree. I was just joking. That was, that was sarcasm about Spags. I mean, he had he had the one semi okay season, his first season in the Rams, and just kind of went downhill from there. The Green Bay team was seventy nine before McCarthy got there, and they went to Super Bowl. Yeah, they did. And that's why I like that's why I like McCarthy. McCarthy knows how to build an offense. He can build an offense. The Giants messed. Yep, Mike McCarthy should be here. I agree. I wish we would have Dak. You know what's funny? I, I didn't like Dak Prescott coming out. I didn't I, I, I didn't. I didn't think that highly of him. And I thought most of his success was because of the fact that he had Ezekiel Elliott standing behind him. And they kind of showed that in his second season. But he's he's turned into one hell of a quarterback. Mike Singletary. No, I don't think they're going to bring Singletary in as a coach. Singletary is – he does not have the temperament for New York. <laughs> And that's probably putting that's probably putting things nicely. Jim Harbaugh would turn this thing around. He might. I don't think. I don't think he would want to. This is interesting though. Doug Peterson would be great and will kill the Eagles at the same time. You know, Doug Peterson would not be a horrid. I think Doug Peterson got a bum rap in um, in Philadelphia, and they ran him out of town. And I don't think he tanked. I really don't. 
But, you know. Joe Judge is bad. Yeah, Joe Judge is bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait a minute, Mr. Wilkins. Danny, Dime, Dak, or Dak? Dak. 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 Has anyone who reported on the email seen them? To my knowledge, nobody has reported, uh, has seen the. I, I think people have seen the emails. I think the emails have been seen, but I, I don't think they, uh, I mean, I, I don't think they're, they're, they haven't been made public. Like, they'll go public. And they actually, the guy from the broke the story actually has the emails. Spag never looked good without all pros to coach. Well, no, I don't think anyone looks good without all pros to coach. But um, I think the thing with Spags was he is, he, someone Todd put it very succinctly, he is a better off defensive coordinator. There's just guys that are better coordinators. Uh, Joe Bugle, failed head coach a bunch of times, but he was a fantastic offensive coordinator. Andy Reid. <laughs> I, would, I would like Andy Reid. Malik Willis is not the answer. This quarterback class seems weaker than the year that we drafted Daniel. We need a pass rush O line next year. Quarterback class, which should be better. But the problem is, uh, the problem is you're going to have to wait another year to to build your quarterback, and, and you can't do that. You just can't. My thing is this: I I think Malik Willis has a better talent skill set than Trey Lance, and we saw what Trey Lance is trying to go into. Those bozos were emailing negative pictures. Yeah. It was a bad, it's a bad, it does a whole bad thing in Washington, Nick Saban. Yeah, and I don't think, I don't think Nick Saban, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to talk about Nick Saban. I'm not going to talk about him. Uh, Mark Davis thinks he's wanted to remove Gru now. Yeah, there were, there's probably something. We're talking Giants, guys. <laughs> we're talking Giants. We are getting Malik Willis. I am, I am, I, I am, I am, I am, I am putting this into the, uh, the atmosphere. We are getting Malik Willis. You're all giving up on Danny Dimes fast. Three years? <laughs> Three years? <laughs> uh, if we go any slower, I think we'd be in trouble. Don't expect thugs if John Mara is still the owner. Yeah, you know what? I just want a nasty boy. I, I so much wanted Mike. I so I so much wanted Parsons. I so much wanted Parsons because Parsons to me just had this look about him, and he, and he's proving it. He just had this look. He had the gleam, like I always say, he had the gleam, man. There's a gleam, and there was just something about him that you kind of just felt, even watching him at Penn State, that he could make the plays. And yeah, he's a knucklehead, but you know what? Sometimes you need some knuckleheads. Throw the whole roster in the trash can. I wish we could. We can't. We can't. Ooh, Malik Willis will do a witch call. We'll do an Eli. I hope so. Uh, if the Giants move on from Jones, I hope Pittsburgh picks him up. Okay, you can have him. At this point in time, I would take Dwayne Haskins. And that was a joke because everyone knows I hated Dwayne Haskins coming out of college. If you want to live, come with me. My other favorite one is, uh, of course, for uh, Predator. If it bleeds, we can kill it. Akeem, how are you doing, my friend? How are you? How many others can join us on the I told you so section of Giant Twitter? You know what? There's not many of us, Akeem, on the I told you so Twitter. They're the smart ones. And evidently, there are 169 smart people right now. We're also, I think we're also broadcasting live on Twitter at the moment. So there might be more people on Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know. Is there anyone live on Twitter? I only got I only got a couple of viewers on Twitter, but we this is the this is the smart version of it. Uh, let's see. Garrett might be a better coach than Gellman. <laughs> Judge at this point. You know what the sad part is? At least Garrett's won. <laughs> oh, my friend, what's going on? How are you doing, my paisan? Uh, you know what? I always appreciate you guys you coming on. I hope to hope the rugby guys, hope you guys played today. Hope you guys are still coming down to Philly. I would love to see that. Jones ain't the problem. Jones ain't the solution. Think Giants fans. He ain't the solution. That's a good point. He's not the solution. That's a great point. That is a great point. Even if you lob Jones, you can't pay him 40. Yes, right. Thank you. You can't pay him all this money that he's going to commit. If he has an average next two years. You're going to have to pay contract value, market value for this quarterback. 
And the problem with more playing him market value is he's not going to be everyone blasted Eli Manning when he got his two contracts at the end, because, but you know, the difference with the giants paid him market value. And he also had two Super Bowl rings. I think the giants start firing. Some people will have to wait till the end. I don't think they're going to do anything until the bye week. And I think the first one they're going to go to Tim's turned into my head. I think the first thing that they are going to go with is I think the first thing they're going to do is get rid of Jason Garrett because they need, they need it. They need a scapegoat. They, they need somebody on the chopping block, someone that they can lay the altar of blame to. And, I, and I've said this before, it's, it's going to have to be Jason Garrett. And I think we all know why. Wait a minute. Jason Garrett. Scapegoat. It's going to be Jason Garrett. I'm turning into Marty. Is that Marty McFly? Hello? Hello? McFly? Oh, what do we got here? So, there's a New York connection with the Rams. They named the Lombardi Forum. Yeah, and also uh, McVay's father coached the Giants in the 70s. <laughs> he was one of the bad coaches in the 70s. Jones is a good starter in a New England-type style offense. We don't have, we don't have the pieces. Uh, you know what? Jones to me is always going to be the thing with the new way. If you look at Mac Jones, the thing with Mac Jones is the reason why they wanted Mac Jones because they wanted to kind of clone a little bit Tom Brady from his rookies and rookie and second season. Uh, and they kind of built it around that. You play, you play, a sh you play the short game and then you play good D. The problem is Daniel Jones can't do it either. Uh, Jones would be a really good game manager, but dude, we need to draft a quarterback to reset the time. That's the problem. You're going to reset the timeline. Do we really want to reset the timeline? Kelvin Moore and John Bray, John Bray should be top priorities off season and improving the offensive lines, getting a rush. Uh, you know what? The only thing I don't like about Kellen Moore he looks like he's 11. I don't know, man. He looks like a hey, great, great OC, great OC. I'm going to say a name, but people are going to think I'm crazy. Because he flamed out, and uh, but some coaches flame out the first time. But he, Josh McDaniels, again, especially if you're going to keep, if you're going to keep knucklehead. I mean, dumpster fire. I mean, Danny Dimes. I mean, Danny. Um, what the hell is his name? Daniel Jones. I, I think he, he he could help. Couldn't hurt. <laughs> Uh, I don't think they will fire Garrett. I think he'll be that bad. I don't think he's, I don't think they, should, I think Garrett's fine as the OC. Everyone talks about the growth process for Daniel Jones for four weeks. Not wonderful. He's been, but they never give any of the credit to Jason Garrett. What's up, Slick Rick? We need defensive players to be, uh, yeah. It's you know what and like I said I I I I I don't understand I don't understand this organization sometimes and you, and you got me thinking a minute here slick Rick you got me thinking a minute I don't understand this organization sometimes because it, it's they never seem to have a problem to hit the reset button and and I'm starting to think about this and and because you can see the smoke they never have a problem hitting the reset button they always talk to, they always talk tough. We always blame. I don't know. <laughs> I, I I I I had a train of thought, and I was reading something in an email. Someone sent me, <laughs> Tim. How would you handle the twenty-two draft? I'm thinking to protect the quarterback on one side of the line and go after. There was a there was a there was a tackle that I wanted to get out of Baltimore, who basically went to Kansas City for nothing. We're not going to get into that, but I would you would have to rebuild the line somewhat. And I don't think you need to rebuild it a lot. I think you just need one key piece, and I think you could probably find that in free agency. I would go after a quarterback and look for some type of defensive presence. Defensive presence. That's what I would personally do if it was me. Daniel Jones is fine. It's our line. No, it's not. Dan the line did not throw the interceptions. The one fumble, again, the two fumbles, he didn't sense the pressure. He didn't sense the presence. <laughs> Uh, Josh McDaniels is scared or he would have left by now. I think the only reason Josh McDaniels is staying in New England is because of the fact that he wants to coach New England. And that's and they also gave him a buttload of money to stay in cap space. It's going to be horrendous, Flip 20. It's going to be horrendous. And I keep talking about this. And I talk about Don Martindale. Yeah, I like Wink. I talked about this before. I'm answering questions before I get to it. I was I've been talking about this a million times before. You can't make these trades. 
because you're just going to dump empty cap space and dead cap space into 2022. Right now, if you keep these players, you can try to extend them out again, even though we just extended out James Bradbury. But hey, what do I know? Uh, Wink Martindale or Don Martindale would be a good fit for the job. I liked it. I liked Wink. I thought Wink was going to get the job when when everyone else turned it down. I really did. I think he's he's got a – but he could be a Matt Patricia type too. That was the other thing I was worried about. Uh, sure, we will hire Josh, and he will quit the next day. Hey, you know what's a good thing about the Giants? Uh, we had to say one good thing about the Giants. Nobody's retired. Nobody's retired in the last couple of weeks. I think that's pretty awesome. I would love McDaniels. He knows how to draw a place for a quarterback. I agree. And that's why I said that I think I, that's who I'd go after. I think Garrett would be a good uh, – you know what? At this point in time, Garrett may become the interim head coach. <laughs> That how much would people how much how much I think the inner I think Twitter I think the giant Twitter sphere would explode if that happened. I think they would explode. I really do. I think <laughs> would that be t- it'd be great though. That would be phenomenal. What's your perfect rebuilding situation from now to 2024? You need to clear your cap space, which you're going to be able to do after 2023. You need to start signing some play younger players with better talent to back up positions. You need to stop drafting projected talent because that's how we get in trouble. We are drafting guys that we think will project into starting roles three years down the road. And when I've said it a million times, instead of going after immediate talent, I would build through the draft, augment using free agency to augment the depth on the roster, not to go out and find people. Ooh, this is a good name. Uh, Eric B that's a, that's who I wanted. I, I actually liked B. I thought they were going to get the enemy because of the fact that, but then he, he was in the Super Bowl, and they didn't want to wait. I understand the Giants lost me. They, they went with Joe Judge because they didn't want to wait for the enemy because of the fact that you can't start building and preparing for the draft until you have your coach. But I, I did I did a whole big video on Eric the enemy. Oh, my goodness gracious. I think that's the direction the Giants need to head. Well, I don't remember what it was, I don't know what it was, but I, did I sense it? Did I say something smart? <laughs> uh, what do you think about our outside linebackers? I think we need more talented linebackers. Oh, Justin, Justin, I've said this a bazillion, a gazillion times. We have no linebackers outside of Blake Martinez. You're, you're relying on Tay Crowder. That's he's a good player, good complimentary player. Reggie Ragland, not the same guy that was in Kansas City. He can't play. He can only play the run. You got Carter Coughlin who can't even get on the field. Cam Brown that is hurt. You got you got Smith the rookie who's who's still hurt. I mean, I've said this a million times. We have no presence on the linebacker position. We have no one because we are so weak at the defensive end position. The biggest problem was, and I've said this a million times, if you're that weak on the defensive end position, you need a strong right or left side linebacker who can help you control the edge. And that's why they're going off tackle left, off tackle left, off tackle right. Ooh, be enemy and Willis make it happen. Is that going to be like a Reed Mahomes? Maybe anyone going twice. Leftwich. Leftwich is not a bad offensive coordinator. I know people give him crap, but he's not a bad. He was, he was, he did well before Brady. He's not a bad offensive coordinator. I thought it was bad what they did to Leftwich in Jacksonville. And I've said this before because I, I had Jacksonville season tickets for a little while. And um, they used to call him Radio because he looked like Cuba Gooden Jr. in the movie Radio who plays the mentally challenged guy. And I always thought that was wrong. And they cheered when he got hurt for David Garrard, Gerard. I, mean, I thought that was kind of that was kind of Bush League. But he's not a bad offense. He's not a bad offense coordinator. How about Dan Quinn? No. No Dan Quinn. No Dan Quinn for you. Let's see here. No Todd Bowles. <laughs> Todd Bowles is another one that that can't um, that that is he, he's just he's just not he's just not head coach. Commissioner. I how I hate how we're in situations where draft is even brought up this. <laughs> you know, Drake Connor, we've been talking about the drafts, I think, in week two. I think it was about week two we started talking about the draft. Uh, he has Brady, but he didn't always have Brady. I'm telling you, Leftwich is, I don't think he's head coaching material just yet, but he's not a bad offensive coordinator. And honestly, it's harder to have someone like Tom Brady and be Tom Brady's boss. I watch football. (laughs) 
played a game at college. He broke a leg. He's he it, he played at Marshall, and it was it was amazing because I saw that game. They he would he would they would put him in the shotgun. He would throw the ball. Two linemen would then come on one on each side and literally carry him to the huddle and then carry him to put him behind center. It was it was it was it was weird. But it was awesome though. Uh assuming we get to the top three pick, are we reaching for Willis? What I would do, because the problem is Willis has been moving up on everyone's charts. If you could get Willis in the top 10 and you, you knew you had a clear shot for him, I would trade down a little, pick up a little bit more assets and then go for Willis. But the thing with Willis is he's he's moving up a lot of the analyst charts. He, he's kind of pulling a Trey Lance here. The O line was picking him up and bringing him to like, yeah, I saw that game, man. It was it was amazing. They carried him one on each shoulder, and he would just do this. And he had was he would have his leg bent up, and they moved him, and put him, and then they took him from the huddle, and then they put him right under not under center, but they had him in shotgun. So they they lined him up under the center. It was it was crazy. It was crazy. Get Lewis Rick and let him decide. It should have been his job, and you know what? I, I don't know if Lewis Rick would have done as bad as a job as Dave, Dave Gettleman. He, you know, I, I'm not sure. Actually, I thought he did have a break. I thought he, I thought he, I don't think it was like a, I think it was like a fracture. I forgot what it was. Yeah, I forgot what it was, but yeah, I remember that. Jack Youngblood, uh, formerly of the Rams, played uh, on a broken leg as well, but he even cares. If you're asking for Riddick, you're okay. I'm not asking for Riddick. I'm just saying Riddick couldn't have done worse. I'm going to predict it now. Malik Willis and Troy's number one pick before I say, you know what, Jonathan? I don't like that. <laughs> Take that back. I don't like that. Can the Giants trade Joe Judge for the Burger King mascot? I'm more of a Wendy's guy. I don't think Wendy's. I guess Wendy's is the, is the little girl with the pigtails. That's Wendy's, right? No, I'm going to say, I'm going to vote no on that. <laughs> Burger King does have a good sandwich though. And, and they brought back their, um, uh, the, the, the Parmesan sandwich. Lewis Rick is GM. Eric Bannon is head coach. No more great white hopes in New York. I don't think that's has anything to do with that. I, I just think that I think I felt bad for, like I said, I thought, I thought Bannon would have had a shot and I felt bad that like I said, well, I don't feel bad that he went to the Super Bowl, but I feel bad that he didn't get the shot that he probably could have deserved. Thank you for the super chat, my friend. Well, of course, all super chats go to the Philadelphia Children's Hospital. Would you trade down to get more picks or go for the quarterback this year or wait till next year? I know a lot of people don't think the quarterback class is strong this year. Like I said, I am a huge Malik Willis fan. And when Malik Willis turns out to be Patrick Mahomes 2.0 with a combination of Trey Lance and Michael Vick all rolled up into one, I'll be having my uh, Tim was right apology tour. Um, if you really are going to move on from Daniel Jones and you have a higher draft choice, like I said, if you're picking in the top three and you think you can get a quarterback a little bit lower, yes, I probably would try to get some more assets because this team is going to be in cap hell, and we are going to need to use our rookie cap space uh, to fill out this roster. And a lot of people are were saying, I've said it too, that they made the Bears trade because of the fact that they um, – we're, we're hedging the bet with uh, Daniel Jones, but they also made the Bears trade because of the fact that it would be a lot cheaper to have two first-round draft choices than some of the free agents that we have. Uh, let's see here. Get rid of everyone. Eat as much of the dead capes as possible. I'm trying to field the team with girls from the lingerie league. Fans might watch. They might. <laughs> At this point, but the problem with giant fans, I don't know about giant fans now, but back in back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, giant fans went no matter what. It it could be it could be a dumpster fire like this. We would still go. And then back then it was 76,000 people. And actually the full attendance was 78,000, and then it went up to 82,000 on the old uh, Meadowlands. Uh, but you went no matter what. Good, bad, or indifferent. Ring in Tony Romo, head coach. I think he draws up a good play. You know, Tony Romo, I did not like, um, I didn't like his play calling at first, but he, he actually knows a lot. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing the way he calls, he, able to diagnose certain plays, but I don't think it, I don't think it would matter. Okay. You're going to time out for a second. We're not, we're not talking about a race here. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. If the Giants hire a Martian. <laughs> don't care. Said it a million times. You get someone from Pluto, and if he could coach, I'd be just as happy. 
Uh, let's see here. What do we got here? How much longer do you think the Giants will? Well, what? <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Malik Willis, please don't go to Washington. I'll be so oh god, if Malik Willis goes to Washington, I don't know what I'm gonna do. There will there will be there will be something going on that'll be like, oh my god, Malik Willis went to Washington. <laughs> I will cry. That's me cry. The only reason I like Riddick is he's willing to challenge the status quo, unafraid to shake things up. You know what? That's not true. That's that I mean, that's not not true. He's got a mouth on him. And sometimes that's what you need. Sometimes you need people to just say the truth. And just and just be honest, and no matter what, take the slings of arrows of outrageous misfortune. Sorry, sort of like this channel. Wait, I'm the Lewis Riddick of giant YouTubers. Oh, hey Nikki, uh, I picked up a part time job just to watch the Giants on Sunday. Thankfully, I can still listen. Well, I appreciate that. And you know what? You, you didn't miss anything. <laughs> you didn't miss anything. So I mean, it's 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 it's. Hope it's a good part-time job. Hope it's something fun. Imagine Malik Willis, Kadarius Tony. I could imagine that because Kadarius Tony is uh, is is Victor Cruz fourteen point oh. Let's see here. Uh, the Popeye's chicken sandwich hits different. Love the sandwich. Uh, you know what the the Popeye's chicken? I didn't ever got to try the Popeye's chicken sandwich. I never did. I I, I did. They still have that because they people were going crazy for the Popeye's chicken sandwich. Love that chicken and Popeyes. I'm a KFC guy. Popeyes chicken does. Uh, I think I did have. I know I I've had Popeyes chicken before. I, yeah, I actually actually that is that's the. Um, they actually have a. They actually have a good. Um, so it's not available anymore. I don't, I don't tell. I'm talking about it. <laughs> it's not available. Oh my god! You know what? If we talk about, if you talk about things such as race, you get put in time out. Because we're all friends here. It doesn't matter if what the quarterback is. I don't care. I don't care what the quarterback is. I don't care what he looks like. I don't care where he's from. I, I, I don't care. I don't think anyone, you know what? I don't think anyone cares. I, I always love when people are like, you know, the Giants will never do this because he's this person. No, I, I think if the Giants thought they would win, it'd be fine. Malik Willis runs like a quarterback with a running back with the ball. Seen enough of his running ability, you see it. You see it. You see. And the thing with Malik Willis is, you see him above the talent that Liberty plays. And he's got a little. He's got a little Kyler Murray. He's got a little Virginia Tech Michael Vick. He needs to throw the ball more so you can get more of an assessment of his accuracy because he does have a little bit of an issue with accuracy. And he, and he, you are going to have to play him more as a running quarterback. And keep him out of the pocket, especially early on. Colts assistant replaced Gettleman. Uh, you know what? A lot of people have been throwing out at Dobbs. I, I mean, he did. He they they did go after and get Carson Wentz. So I'm not sure how smart they are right now. The Giants will pass. Of course, they're, if the Giants pass on Wentz, I'll actually believe the people will say he. Yeah, they're going to say that. That's fine though. But we know we're not, so don't worry about it. Uh, this chat seems like it's a bunch of Jones haters and enthusiasts who don't want to draft all of them, but want to look at Jones, and that's about it. Sure, that's what we are. We're all Jones haters. If you're a Jones hater, okay, raise your hand. Or if you're a person that just comes in late and doesn't listen to anything we have to say, raise your hand. There you go. <laughs> hey, oh, it's just thank you, sir. It's just an opinion. I've always mind, but never expect that to change anyone else's. That's, that's a good point. We're not changing opinions. Yes, draft another quarterback. That'll fix it. No, it's not like he'll struggle with the same damn thing that Jones is struggling with. Problem is, you draft another quarterback, he's not Daniel Jones. So you don't know if he's going to struggle. How did Colt McCoy beat Seattle? Throw that out there, because he's not Daniel Jones. Maybe the Patriots and Belichick mutually part ways and we sign him. I would I would love for that to happen, but it's never going to happen. I would love for that to happen. Kenny Hill crashing into Mark Collins on the TD. Good old days. Oh, okay. Kenny Hill, man. Kenny Hill was a good Raider, too. Most people forget that he played for the Raiders. He was a good Raider before he came over to the Giants. How do you feel about people saying Malik Willis isn't good because he played at Liberty? Well, you know what? He he went he he went to another school and he went to Liberty to get some playing time. And you know what? You can only play the talent. But I've said this before: when you rise above your talent, 
you could see that. And if you watch him play, you can see that, that he plays above his talent level. I would draft Willis and hire Piano. I would probably do that. Malik Willis and Carries do run with the ball in their hands. That'd be fun. They would be it would be an interesting combination to watch. They would be an interesting company. We're probably gonna wrap this up in about five minutes, guys. Uh let's see. We got any. I don't like Willis. That's okay, Scotty. It's okay. You know, you don't have to like everybody. You know, we all have differences of opinions. I, I just have this feeling about Malik Willis. I don't know why. The same thing when I had the feeling about how I did not like Dwayne Haskins. <laughs> Didn't like him. Called him a lollipop thrower. Called him a one-hit wonder. And I call him a lollipop thrower because you know it's like the top of the lollipop. When he throws his deep ball, it's like a big old arc over the lollipop. And you can't do that. And you can't do that in MetLife. Daniel Jones is throwing great the ball to the other team. He did have some nice passes. Tim, you have to get the sandwich and put uh, some Megan's uh, styling sauce on it. You know, it's a lot hot or something. <laughs> I, I, I will, I'm going to try Popeyes. Malik Willis is Malik is Will is Murray Vic. I'll roll them in one. I, I don't disagree with that. I agree with that. Do people realize you can't take Malik Willis and address the O line? We have one. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's a good point. You can take a quarterback and still address the O line. It's all right, and you can also trade the quarterback you have. Because you're also going to be trading the quarterback you have going into year four. So you're going to give another team two years with this rookie contract. Kind of like a Sam Darnold move. No quarterback would do good in this. It's not the When Daniel Jones threw for 400 yards and we beat the Saints, how come it wasn't the system then? Maybe it's not the system. Maybe it's the guy running the system. I lost my mind a long time ago. Can Barkley? Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we can. We can still afford him because that's you. You know, I don't know if he's still going to be around, but we can still afford him. We can still. Afford him. Good night, my friend. I'm going to leave here in three minutes, anyways. I just want to make sure I get everyone in today. Everyone needs to be fired by tomorrow, anyways. I don't think they're going to fire him, but I agree. Just get rid of him. Get rid of him. You can't, though. You can't. You, you just can't. That's the problem. Jones gets all the credit when things go well, then none of the credit when things go horrible. He gets none of the blame. You're right. He gets none of the blame when things go horrible. When things go god-awful, it's never Daniel Jones' fault. We do need an offensive line. One and seven after care. I could see that. I'm not going to say I'm not going to see that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say Let's see what it is. So our problem is not the quarterback. We have no defense. I understand he may not be the best quarterback, but I do think he's a capable quarterback. I don't want to be the Jets when they gave up on Darnold and took Wilson. Uh, yeah, but Wilson actually, Wilson, Wilson actually looks pretty good. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say that. Oh, let's see uh, here. Please, Reese Carter at uh, seven forty-five a.m. Uh, let's see. Here we go. You, you can go all line, yes, but you still need a solution at quarterback. He doesn't get any paid. So what? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do think we need a solution at quarterback. I really do. Can you do just Madden streams? I can do Madden streams. I like playing Madden. I've been playing Madden since ever, since Madden was on the computer and it was just Madden, John Madden football. DJ can play. What can he play? Basketball. Tillywinks. Soccer. I'd trade Barkley instead of Jones. I think they're both maybe gone. I mean, I can't sign linebackers to stand around and watch his teams make the play. Yeah, you know what? We do have we don't have a lot of guys that are what they refer to as pile honors. And what that is, and and, and, and that's usually a, a derogatory term because the fact that they they get pile on stats. And that's because they're jumping on the pile. We don't see that. There's not a lot of gang tackling with the Giants. I have noticed that though. I have noticed that. If you think Giants' problem is Jones, then draft Willis. And yeah, okay. I want to draft Willis. We need a cornerback. We need a CB1. Don't we have two of them? Don't we have a Dory Jackson and James Bradbury? I think we do. Zach Wilson's a higher upside than Sam Darnold. Yeah, he does. I'm sorry. Some of the throws we've seen Wilson make are one worldly rolled out switch. But yeah, you can't teach that. You're right. He's, I don't know if he's, he's got talent. Yes, he's got a lot of talent. 
I hope Judge watches tapes and tell us. And we saw and that. You know what? That's funny. You, that is funny because you know he's. I saw a lot of good things out there today. A lot of good things. We only we only lost thirty eight eleven, but there's 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 a lot of good things out there. We 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 did a lot of good things. Uh, we need a linebacker, O line, and an edge. Yes, we do. Adore Jackson was a waste of money. You know what the thing with Adore Jackson is? We've said this a million times before. And we said it outside of giant Twitter. No one outside of giant Twitter sphere wanted a Dory Jackson. They all couldn't, they all questioning the giants for signing the Dory Jackson because of the fact that nobody else was going after him. Bud light, no running game, no offensive line, no defensive was going to drop passes. You're blaming the quarterback. Yeah, I am. Because it's, it's not like this is the, the, the offensive, the, excuse me, the, um, the offensive line may have given up the sacks, but they didn't, they didn't give up the fumbles. The wide receivers didn't cause the interceptions. Just throwing that out there. Bad brain and Dory Jackson can't tackle anyone. No, they can't. My friend was so tempted to throw his $15 trash from the Met Lights food onto the field just to get the fans message across. I do not advocate throwing things on the field, but that would have been funny. I'm not going to lie. All right, guys. I think we're going to lock it down tonight. I'm, uh, I'm, what did Michael Lombardo say? Michael Lombardo said on Twitter, the Giants organization overrate players who they sign and draft, the league's perception is different. I've said this a million times, and, and, and I think we've said it before. The Giants overvalue their talent. And if you look at the rest of the league, they all look at the, the Giants like, what are you talking about? And, and that's kind of what the issue is. Vegas has its six wins. Yes, I, I remember that because I, I said 67. Who's better, who's better, Joe Judge or The Rock? I'll hang up and listen. Oh, I don't have the. I don't have the. That's a good one. Oh no, it's Sterling. She Actually, Sterling Shepard did not cause the interception by falling. You're not wrong. We have good talent. I don't see where, but okay. Send Judge to New England. Can we trade him? Can we trade him to New England? I think we can. Vegas was generous. You know what? I know we said this a million times before about Vegas. Vegas pr predicts. Vegas's job is to make money. And that's what that's all they do. They they are there to make money. And so they usually they take out all of the ancillary fan knowledge and just go by the general assessment of the evaluation of the team and the roster. And that's all they do. Geno Smith is looking decent in town this year in Seattle. I, I hope Geno Smith does well. He's not a bad kid. He's kind of a knucklehead, but he wasn't a bad kid. And I could say kid because I'm older than everybody. Uh, I, uh, I said you don't get it, but you are 100% correct when you said they overvalue their talent. Thank you. Thank you, Irish Mike. Joe Judge or Ray Hanley? Oh, Mike Lee. Mike Lee. <laughs> Ray Hanley was bad. Ray Hanley took a Super Bowl team and pretty much destroyed it. Oh, but you know what? I have to say it. it's going to be Joe Judge. AB, you're welcome back now. You're out of timeout. We suck. We do. <laughs> it's okay. It's all good. Uh, if we have good talent, our team must have a virus worse than COVID and during that from showing. Oh, that's not good. Saeed, have a good night, my friend. Have a good night. I'm gonna wrap it wrap it out, wrap it out of here as well. Uh, Jim Fossil or Jim, better coach Jim Fossil. Jim Fossil went to a Super Bowl. Jim Fossil Jim Fossil pushed all of his chips into the middle of the table and took his team to the Super Bowl. And he won two championships in the AFL. Not the AFL. What the the other league that he when he played for the Vegas Locomotives. We didn't play. He coached the Vegas Locomotives in that in that weird league. Thank you, Blair. Nice guy. I met him. He was a great, great guy. Well, that's good. Three and 14 on the Giants. I agree. I don't think Judge is a bad coach at all. He just seems – Judge is, Judge does head scratchers. He, he does things that you just like just doesn't – it just doesn't make sense. World League. Is it the World League? Was it the WFL? Giants won't beat an XFL. They would beat an XFL team because there are none right now. So they would beat him. Uh, 
Fossil was a good coach. He, I mean, he wasn't a great coach, but he was a good coach. It's a shame that he never got a chance to coach again in the leagues. Judge chops wood and plays not to lose. He does play not to lose. He really does. And 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 sometimes he coaches. And sometimes he just makes weird. De- he didn't make any really weird decisions today, but sometimes he makes some weird ass decisions. He really does. We got any other comments, guys, going on here? Because I think I'm going to lock this down and close this out. I'm a little tired. I got to get up early tomorrow. Anything? Uh, send your wife after Joe Judge. You don't want that. <laughs> Joe Judge doesn't want that. Uh, she, she's not bad. I love my wife. <laughs> she puts up with me. <laughs> I mean, God. You know you have to be a strong, wonderful woman if you put up with me. <laughs> not going to say how many years, but a lot of years. And I am not the easiest person to live with. And I did some things back in the days. And it's just not. It just. It, but you put. She put up with me, and she still puts up with me. So I will love her to the end of the earth. Joe Judge and Dan Jones, perfect together. A little good, a little bad, and a whole lot of stuff. Uh. Anyone bet this game? Uh, I didn't bet the game tonight. I, you know what? I have to also check to see if we anyone won the uh, replica Super Bowl ring. There we go. Giants are the old Knicks. Dysfunctional throw money at the pro- yeah, and I've said that, and people people are just like you, you know what you're talking about. Hey, my friend, what are you doing? We're we're wrapping up. We've been going on here for an hour and uh, whatever. How are you? Mrs. Online Big Blue is a saint. She is. <laughs> she literally is. Afghanistan, oh baby, what do you think? What do you think of this mess? <laughs> baby, oh yeah. What do you think? Where, where are we at with this? Where, where, what's your thoughts? I, I need something to end on a happy note. Mrs. Online, believe it's a saint. Yep, 100,000%. One, 1, Jeffrey, you have yourself a good night. Giants will be good at some point. Hopefully you and I are still fans <laughs> when they are good. Three and 14. Come on, man. Come on. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. I, I need something, man. I need something to close the stream out. I, I need a pearl of wisdom. I, I need something that's just gonna that's just gonna be like, yeah. <laughs> I think if we lose next week, fine. I think if we lose next week, the firings have to start. Honestly, I do believe that. If we do lose next week, if we lose another home game and it's another stinker, I know the Giants are never into firing people, but I would I would fire Joe Judge. I would fire Joe Judge. Tim, who do you want the new head coach to be if we fire Joe Judge? I've said it before. I'm not 100% sure. I like Eric Bieniemy a lot. And I liked him when we did not get the opportunity to. We got the opportunity to interview him, but we did not get the opportunity to second interview him because he was going to the Super Bowl. Here we go. This is going to be good. <laughs> I think we're a disaster from top to bottom. I wish I could give you happier news. Well, that really did. That didn't fill up the stream with confidence. I, I was waiting for something because I'm waiting for a pearl of wisdom, a shining light, a gleam, uh, uh, something at the end of the tunnel that's not the train coming. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day, though. Hope you had a good day either way. I am 62 years old. My first giant game was Yankee saying I'm depressed. My first giant game was in 76, home giant game, open it up in the Meadowlands against Dallas, which we lost. So Montana and New York, I understand. I feel I haven't been as fan as long as you are, but I feel your pain. You know, you know the 70s, and I guarantee you know that this is probably getting worse than the 70s. And then to, to get beat by a McVay who was part one of the coaches in the 70s. Oh, that was even worse. This team is trash. Yeah, it is trash. And with the first overall pick, the Giants select Malik Willis, quarterback, Liberty. Giants. <laughs> Riley Dixon made a nice tackle. Well, you know what? <laughs> you know what I find funny about that tackle, though? <laughs> he grabbed his ankle and pulled it up and, re- and reminded me of Logan Ryan and Dak Prescott. Oh my goodness. Uh, I think we're gonna close this out. I think I think it was it was just bad all around today. I appreciate everyone coming in. We had a lot of people in the stream, it was fun. We only we only had a couple people that we had to 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 send on their merry way, <laughs> but you know what? I I think it's um I think it's good to talk about this. I think it's good to tell us your feelings, and, and I think that's what we need to do as Giants kids. We need to express our feelings. We need to feel the love. 
Uh, we got uh, take on who gets fired first. It's going to be probably Garrett. Garrett to me probably is going to be the one that gets fired first. I think it should be judged, but I think they'll get rid of Garrett. I don't know if they, I don't know if they would promote. Um, what's his name? Kitchens. Cause he was, he was pretty much a failure. Um, but I think Garrett's going to be the first one to go. Nate ever got kicked out of rugby because he can't tackle. I could see that. This team makes me sad. This team makes me sad. I like that Irish Mike. All right, guys, we're going to close this out tonight. Uh, it was a good night. It was a fun night. It was, you know what? I think it was a fun night to have the game, you know, to talk about a game like this. We're going to have a video out tomorrow. Uh, we'll also have a video. Oh, um, I'll also do another uh, Malik Willis video. Uh, Cause someone requested it. So we will do another Malik Willis video. Uh, do you think judge, do you think judge lost the team? I do think judge is losing the team. I really do. Good night, Scotty. Hope you have yourself a great evening. Zachary, have a good night, my friend. Good night to all the people out there in giant land. It's got to get better guys. I've, you know, uh, Montana and, and why will tell you this. And I will tell you this. We've lived through the bad and this, the, you know, you have to hope that this is the pinnacle of bad. And that we are, we are, you know, we are going to jump off the, we're going to leave the pinnacle and we're going to come down and hopefully that we are going to, we're going to start seeing the valley and the valley is going to open up in the trees and then we're going to, we're going to see the light again. Thank you, sir. I, I appreciate that. Peace. Have a good night, everyone. I think it's, uh, let's, 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 like I said, let's just keep up some hope and let's, um, let's have ourselves a good night. And I appreciate everyone for stopping by. It was a good stream, a longer stream. I didn't think it was going to go this long. That's what she said. And, uh, we'll see everyone tomorrow and maybe we'll do a live stream later in the week. If not, just check out the new videos again. If you get an opportunity to go see NFL talk from across the pond to back, it's our new podcast. Not new. We've done like 25 episodes. Good night, Davey. Um, it's good. We talk with Dom from the UK and we talk about all about giants and go through all the other games. So uh, I will see everyone and hopefully soon have yourself a good night. Hope be safe. And uh, you know, what, giant giant fans, there's gotta be some hope around the corner and there's gotta be a light at the end of the tunnel. Let's just hope not. Let's just hope it's not a train. Good night, everyone.